Welcome to Advanced Hardware Design Course by STEAM PCB. I have divided this course into three different boards. The first board we'll design is RK3399 computer on board and the second board will be customizable Raspberry Pi. And after that we'll create a board using FPGA. So we're going to divide these into multiple sections. For example, for RK3399 computer on board, I have divided this into 13 different sections. And under each section, I have put lessons and their assignment and quizzes. In section one, we'll discuss the requirement sheet and RK3399 data sheet. In section two, we'll discuss how to choose a SDRAM there we'll further discuss SDR, DDRX and LPDDRX, their pin mapping and schematic design. In section 3, we'll cover power management ICs, their schematic design and selection. In another section, we'll discuss embedded multimedia card, their chip selection, pin mapping and schematic design. In section 5, we'll cover Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module, their certifications for US, Europe and Canada, their schematic design. In section 6, we'll cover LDO, DC DC and buck boost converters, their schematic design and selections in very very detail because these are very useful and we place these components or these circuits in every board. So we'll discuss that in very very detail. In section 7, we'll discuss the schematic design of RK3399, its pin mapping and impedance planning. On another section, we'll start discussing about layer stackups. There, I have covered 4 layer, 6 layer, 8 layer and 12 layer board, which will be common for all the 3 boards that we're going to design under this course. Then we'll move to component placement and its layout. You can complete these course within a two month and after that I'm going to publish Raspberry Pi and its section that will be like six months of continuous learning and continuous practicing on different different boards. 